hey y'all welcome back welcome back to my channel so today is monday it's currently like 4 12 p.m and i'm just like let me just make me a little video for today um and catch y'all up on some things that's been going on in my life and just take y'all along with me on this monday so before we dive into this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and yeah let's go ahead and get into this all right y'all so we're just chilling at the house at the moment kobe inside of his swing he sleep and i mean like i'll I be watching her on youtube <laughs> and yeah so I recently I had went to Dollar Tree like earlier today so, just to get a few like household things I need to turn this down a little bit just a few household things that I needed so that's what I did but um just to show y'all around the house at the moment it's pretty clean I'm proud of myself I'm trying to keep it up I'm trying to make sure it stay clean this is his room um, the bathroom clean and stuff. I just gotta take me a shower in my room. I be trying to make my bed up like often, y'all, because it just I don't know, it just make me feel better. And this candle right here smells so good, y'all. The strawberry pound cake. Make sure y'all get that because it just smells so good. I you see I had to get two of them. I also did my hair, so I'm really loving the way my hair look at the moment, but I just wanted to like um just catch y'all up on everything that's going on i was blessed with a work from home job um that i actually start this upcoming thursday and y'all it, it was a battle in my head between like because i don't know if y'all knew but like i made a video about it but i had like went to jail before and i had um something on my background so it was like hard for me to get jobs and stuff like that so i remember um after well when i was pregnant god blessed me with a job in my big sister name so i was work working under her name and after i had my son it was in my head like oh my gosh like i know i'm gonna want to work from home because i got kobe but i don't know what type of work from home like legit like a legit work from home job gonna actually like hire me you knowing i got this in my background long story short y'all this job randomly like was like on indeed and it's not even up there no more and it was like people with criminal backgrounds are encouraged to apply so i'm like i applied y'all and i was just praying to god about it stuff like that and i actually end up getting the job y'all like and keep in mind i applied for 52 to work from home jobs and only three of them responded back two of them that responded back they was gonna do background checks and i'm like oh i know i probably was gonna be able to get a job then and i remember with this last job when they was interviewing me i was about to ask like hey like do y'all do background checks and right before i was about to ask that god was like Shh, don't say nothing don't ask so i ain't never asked if they did it or not so i didn't know like if they was gonna actually do one or not and they actually did not do one got my off letter and all that so um, my dad, he actually had a computer that he gave me. So it's like everything was just falling in my hands. And then um, right before I started like my nesting, like with, like taking my calls and stuff like that, I was also like kind of like not anxious. Well, yeah, I was anxious to see like how Kobe was going to do, knowing I was going to have to take calls throughout the day and he'd be up and stuff like that. Um, so I just feel like I was just looking at everything that was up against me instead of paying attention to the fact that God gave me the job. So if he gave me the job, that means he know what, you know what I'm saying? What is up against me in this time? And he apparently gonna get me through it if he gave it to me. So, um, I just remember they ended up telling me like, oh, yo, equipment is actually not compatible no more. You gonna have to get you another um computer or either we ain't gonna be able to like go through with you and i'm like oh my god i'm looking at it like oh that gotta be a sign god maybe you don't want me to have this job but um they simply just wanted me to get a computer with like a little bit more storage on it so you know what i'm saying won't well, move slow so i'm like oh my god that gotta be a sign like god maybe that's just your sign maybe that's you showing me that this ain't gonna work it's like in my head i already felt defeated before i even gave it a try and I don't know why. It's like I already felt like it wasn't going to work. And this reminds me of that story in the Bible when God, well, this was with Moses and the um, Israelites, when they was about to conquer, to take over the promised land. And God told them, this y'all land, like y'all finna take over this land. 
like go take over it and instead of them just going to take over it they was like now nah, we're gonna scoop the scenery out to see what we're about to take over they saw all these giants and they was like god like why would you bless us with a land that you know got giants in it like you know we can clearly like be defeated and it was only caleb and josiah they was like y'all let's still go do it like if god tell tell us it's ours it's ours like it's not about what we see it's not about any of that it's about the fact that god said it's ours so that means it's ours long story short y'all um they was like fearful they were scared they were so scared that they didn't even go through with the land they didn't go through with it because they saw everything that was up against them they could not understand how could god bless them with something you know something like that knowing like the circumstance that it was so that's how i felt yeah i called my mama my daddy my sisters everybody and i'm just asking them like yeah, I'm so confused. I don't know if this job is for me. Like, I don't know if it's going to be a good fit. My mom was like, it sounds like you trying to make up reasons for why the job could not work. And I'm like, that's really what I was doing because I just, I just, I just, like I told my mom yesterday, I just felt so defeated. Like, I'm down to my last little bit of savings that I got. And I want to work. You know, I like working. But a part of me just like, God, like, like, what if Kobe be crying a lot? Or what if this don't work? Or what if this don't work? What if this don't work? And I'm like, God, I'm just so confused because the job fell in my lap, y'all. Like, I didn't have to lift a finger. It just was mine. And I'm like, you know, so yesterday I was going through it in a car. I'm like, God, please just let me know. I'm trying to use any excuse for why this probably ain't going to work. So I'm like, God, if they don't ever respond back to me, then I'm going to take it as a sign. They responded. I called my mama. She like, it ain't no big deal like only thing you gotta do is just get a computer like what's the worst that can happen at least you try like don't you gotta try you won't never know unless you try so i'm like oh my god y'all i bought a computer from walmart after i bought it they sent me an email saying that it was unavailable i'm like that gotta be a sign then i went on amazon the one i was about to buy y'all they said it was unavailable i'm like bro these ain't nothing but signs like this ain't nothing but no sign but deep down inside my heart i'm like god ain't free me this far just to tell me i ain't got no job like so um long story short um god helped me he provided for me a way to get me a laptop with more storage than what they even asked for i got way more than enough so i start my job thursday and i'm just excited about that i really am um i'm just so excited y'all like very excited and something else i want to just update y'all about is like like right now in my life in my life right now god is really just like he sat me down and he was telling me like listen here my daughter like the stuff i want to do for you like stop making it seem like i don't know what you up against stop making it seem like i don't know what you're going through like i understand the circumstance i understand you're a single mom i understand you young i understand you got to take this class and i got to take a class every saturday to get this off my background thank you god i'm able to take this class so i can get that dismissed so i can really get me a big girl job but i'm telling god like god i'm ready to go to school i'm ready to do all this like i'm 21 years old i'm gonna be 22 next saturday so i'm just like it's so much stuff that i'm wanting to do in my life like for real like and so yeah like with kobe dad y'all i haven't spoken to him since like um it's been a minute like i don't know if it was like the end of january i just know the i just know i used to reach out to him and i used to be like hey like you can watch him this saturday like come over here and watch him real quick he just felt like why well, i can't get him and take him with me and i'm like it's not that it's just that i don't know who you be around like i don't know what you be on like and god forbid baby like i don't want my child being in no environment in which you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be around you. Like, where you going to be at? Who going to be holding my baby? Like, stuff like that. I just simply was like, just let me know where you going to be at for emergency purposes. And just so I can have me a peace of mind. Like, I don't care that you got you a girlfriend. I don't care about none of that. But, you know, as like when it comes to the respect, just, you know, make sure you let me know where y'all going to be at so I can know for my sanity and for my for me so i won't be wondering like oh my gosh where is he at is kobe okay is this okay like you know what i'm saying but he just wasn't going for that he felt like he ain't want to tell me so i'm like you can still come over here and see him and watch him and stuff like i won't even be here like it's just so you can spend time with him like before i felt like before i get to the point in which kobe be completely out of my care 
I need to trust you. And if I don't trust you, then it's just not going to be able to work. Like, it's not going to work because, God forbid, something happened to my baby. So, um, I remember I used to still try to reach out and be on something like, hey, you want to see him this Saturday? You can come watch him, stuff like that. This boy used to leave me on red. This boy would not respond back. He left me on red. This boy would never text back. I can just simply call on something strictly about Kobe. This boy rejecting the calls. I don't know if he had myself on straight, do not disturb. Like, I don't know, but I remember the last time I ever reached out to him, I texted him and I was like, hey, you could come see him. Like, you know, you could watch him and stuff like that. And he, like, he left me on red and i was like this is the last time i ever looked at that boy facebook i went to his facebook and watched his story and i'm like you had a gun rage with a whole female and you ignore me about seeing your son like and i promise y'all the last thing i told him is that you know what i'm saying you really missing out on a whole lot like kobe was your blessing you know what i'm saying and you mistreated your blessing and that's something i would never allow nobody in their life to ever mistreat my child like i would never ever like my son won't never get no bare minimum so i told him you don't see what you're doing now but later you will see and you will see when it's too late because it's over and that was the last time i reached out to him that was the absolutely last time y'all and um it's crazy because god just been like putting in my heart like all that stuff with me going to court and stuff and like taking that class all that stuff happened when i was in that relationship with him and i'm so thankful y'all when i was pregnant god told me so loud in my ear when i was taking a shower he said everything connected to that person and to that relationship is going to be cleared out your life it's going to be gone so just be patient y'all i'm taking the class that's going to be off my record like and then on top of that i already know god is putting it in my heart i'm going to move out my hometown like god is really making a way for me right it's like last saturday it's like God just been telling me, like, my child, just be obedient to me. Like, fast for me. Fast and stuff off you. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling so good last Saturday. You know, I'm in a good space. My sister tried to come at me crazy about her baby daddy. And I'm like, dang, it seemed like people stay trying to pull me down to to a, to a person that I'm not no more. That, that happened last Saturday. Then this previous Saturday just passed. Um... I'm at my mama's house and stuff like that. And me and my little sister went to the river wall. We was having so much fun. We at my mama's house before we go to the movies. And Kobe dad went to randomly pop up at my mama's house. And I'm like, like, you don't do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand you blocked and stuff, but you still don't do that. But anyway, so I was like, what you doing here? Like, cause it happened in which I was walking right by the door and I saw him walking up. And I'm like, what you doing at my mama's house? Like, I, I just want to see my son. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I got Kobe from his granddad, I handed him Kobe, and I went back there with my granddad and my sister. I mean, with my daddy and my sisters. Y'all, not 10 seconds later, the front door opened. And I'm like, the front door? He got my baby on his hip. Like, Kobe a big baby, like a like a big boy, like a hip baby. Kobe ain't no hip baby yet. And walking, like, towards a car. And I'm like, what you doing? Like, straight up, like, don't play with me. Like, I already, like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't respect you. Like, and don't you dare play with me. Like, you haven't been in here for less than 10 seconds. Like, you did it so shysty. Like, you really tried to do it. You could have said, huh, hold him real quick. I need to go. He said he had to get something out, some car. The car was at the next house. I'm like, y'all, it's a pattern. Last weekend, it was my sister trying me. This Saturday, it was him trying me, trying to bring me back down to this place. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get me to react. And I'm like, bro, like, hand me my baby, bro. Go on, bro. Get out of here. Like, bounce. Like, I don't want to see you no more. Get out. Like, don't play with me. Like, go. Last time I saw him, and I told him straight up, like, bro, like, after that happened, it was so strong in my heart to move out my hometown, bro. It was, like, so strong, like, bro like i know who i am i'm a good person and these people around me bro they really trying to bring up like that that person out of me that i'm not no more like god just been putting it on my heart like just stay on course because i promise you like as long as you stay focused you will be able to get out of here how about oh it's, it's this dude who like was trying to talk to me and i told my friend this i was like he remind me of my kid dad like not like look wise or nothing but like his attitude his spirit on something like really trying to be a thought 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't really trying to get to know me. You just want something from me. Like, you know, and I'm like, everything about everything is just like, it's just showing me like, I'm bigger than all this stuff. Like, it's time for me to move. Like, I'm going to be patient with myself. But God really put it on my heart to really just trust in him. Like, even when it comes to that job, it's like, God, I was already feeling defeated before I even tried. And I'm like, I'm just so ready to like, get past this stuff. Like, so that's how my life been like I'm, I'm so thankful i'm very thankful like very thankful and blessed like highly blessed and favored but god is he he never failed to remind me that he finna get me up out of this like he finna rise me like my like when i was in jail y'all oh it was like five o'clock in the morning bro and i cannot find this bible scripture for nothing in the world but I was, it was an ex and it was like, God, no way. It said Jesus sat beside her and told her to arise. And that's why I named my ministry chosen to arise because God told me he finna arise me. Like I'm really finna rise up in like a Phoenix, like for real, like all that stuff people try to do against me. Like, you know what they use for evil? Like by that boy leaving when Kobe was two weeks old to go be with some, whoever he with, you know what I'm saying? Who got to be just as a, a goofy as him that could have broke me. You know what I'm saying? Like I cried and stuff. And I told myself, I won't never ever cry about no human being like that ever again in my life. Like, and it's just because I really love him. Boom. I had to let go of that. Boom. I had to let go of my cat, like Navy, bro. Like I'm telling y'all February, bro. I never cried like that. Like I cried so bad. And I was just like, God, like, I just can't do this no more. Like I can't do this no more. And I'm even getting emotional about it because Bro, like, that really took a, like, a toll on me. Like, that really hurt. Like, it really did. And now I'm like, I'm just, I was just like, God, you got to get me out of here. Like, I'm so tired of being in this hometown. Like, I'm so tired of seeing these same streets. I'm so tired of seeing all this stuff. It's reminding me about all this old stuff. I want to see new stuff. I want to grow. And he telling me one day at a time, just take it one day. He ain't going to, he ain't going to take me over it. He going to take me through it. So that's why I'm just like. I'm going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it. God still blessing me, bro. Like, God still come through for me. But it's just, God, he, like, when he telling you, like, it's time for you to go ahead and buckle down because he finna shoot you up, it's time. So, that's how I've been. So, to all the moms out there and stuff like that, I can tell y'all one thing. Like, one thing about Kobe dad, like, straight up, I don't try no more. You don't see me reach out to you. You don't see me reach out to you for nothing. Like, nothing. God put me in a place to where I don't need him for nothing. And I feel like he's starting to realize that, like, dang, she don't even reach out no more. Like, she don't reach out to me so I can purposely ignore her. Like, you know, like, that's weird. But long story short, y'all, ignore them folks. Let them go. Tell you, sister, block him. Block anybody who come at me crazy. Block and ain't getting unblocked. Like, straight up. Straight up, like, don't let these people, bro, bring you back down. It's like a crab in a bucket. When you about to escape, they're going to try to bring you back down. They're going to try to bring you back down and say, see, she ain't changed. Or see, she the bad guy. See, she she blocked me. See, she won't let me do this. She, see, she talks to my baby daddy. See, she doing this. See, she doing that. Man, forget all y'all. Straight up. Like, that's how I've been feeling lately. And it's a process, but God just been telling me to, like, be obedient, man. Like fast these demons off of you like familiar spirits be everywhere like that's why i'm like no i ain't finna talk to that boy like no like it's like oh my gosh like y'all that's just how i've been feeling i don't know where god gonna move me to but i know i'm moving i get myself next year like next year i'm, I'm gonna be out of here like i'm not staying in my hometown no more like i'm i, I don't want to be in georgia period i don't want to be nowhere down here like so that's how that's been but motherhood so far y'all it's been amazing like I love my Kobe so much like I love him and God just been sitting down he told me bro he told me this back when I was pregnant he told me you're gonna be single for five years so you might as well get comfortable you know what I'm saying like he told me that and it's just because I feel like while we young bro we be trying to like pursue relationships and that be the last thing we need to really pursue because they can't offer us nothing it can't offer us nothing but a baby and like broken hearts and stuff like like in this season it's time to get your credit right like you know what i'm saying get a good job establish yourself and then god gonna send you your person who who doing the exact same thing you doing you know what i'm saying like 
hey, it's cool, but from my motto is people made beds that they now got to lay in straight up. They made decisions in which nobody can save them, like straight up, not even God. Like, <sighs> so that's how everything been going for me, y'all. I'm just um staying straight, like, what else happened? Oh, like this other dude was like trying to talk to me. That's why I'm like that. That just showed me like, yeah, God, alright. Like you know, I'm on something like. Let me just see what he's talking about. Straight weirdo, like you got me on your wallpaper, and I only talked to you for one day. Boy, I could be a whole psycho. Like, eh, next, like I'm so tired of it, God. Like I was like, God, you know what? You know what? I'm so tired of this. I'm going to go ahead and lean on you, work this job. The devil is a liar. Like, the devil wants you to feel like you lost before you even tried to win. Like, no. Like, get out of here with that. My new motto is bounce. Get out of here, man. Go. I ain't got nothing to say to you. Like, straight up. But that's just been what's going on right now, y'all. But, yeah, I'm finna give Kobe a bath. Um, And I just like to freshen up my house. Keep it clean. And that's it, y'all. Team nightgown girls, because that's what we do around here. But yeah, y'all, so let's get into it. All right, y'all, so I'm making me some water that I can use to, like, just wipe stuff down. So I got my lapel using some of this. Y'all, I love this Fabuloso, like, so much. So there it go. And then I just put my rags in it. I got, like, some hair dye on it that never came off. But I put these rags in it. And I use this to wipe off like my calendars and like the table and stuff like that. So now I'm just gonna put some of this stuff up. Y'all, I found this um, carpet freshener and stuff at Dollar Tree, but it don't even got no smell to it, but whatever. Um, two brushes, y'all. Dollar Tree, ain't no way y'all breath stink, like straight up. So I'm just gonna put some of this stuff up real quick. Kobe look like he finna wake up, but so yeah, let's do this. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and sterilize his bottle, y'all. All the bottles I bought him, he only want this bottle. This came with a breast pump. He don't like no other bottle. Like, he only used this one. So, I'm gonna sterilize this. So, I'm using some of this. All right, y'all. So, I got that sterilizer. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. So, I got this table cleaned up. So, yes, y'all. God just been like telling me that like my life like I think like my life really finna like just start like you know I was telling my dad like I haven't even walked into my healing yet I even I haven't even walked into my true breakthrough yet and I'm already being blessed like this so just imagine what that actually feel like that's why because sometimes I be in my head like oh god like I hope you send me a husband one day and stuff like that and he just be like reminding me like Baby girl, you ain't gotta worry about that. But it got to the point, like in your walk with God, in which you don't care whether you be single for the rest of your life or not. You just want God. You don't want nobody else. You know, like, and that's just where I'm at right now in my life. Like, I don't know. It's like, I'm just so ready to, like, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm so thankful that I have this mindset at my age. And I'm so thankful that God is putting it on my heart to think like this. You know what I'm saying? Let people do what they do. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? They got a life. And just like you got a life. Like, you know. And I'm just so thankful. Like, I'm past that heartbreak and all that. Like, I'm so happy. And I'm so blessed right now. Like, come on now. Like, I'm so happy. And I'm so proud of myself. And y'all know like that feel good like when your like dad tell you stuff like i'm proud of you you know like when people see it bro like it just make me feel good like people gonna always have something to say about you especially when you're trying to better yourself it's just about moving forward right that's it so i use these trash bags for um my bathroom and, you know, like and i know it's, it's fun out here, like, when you walk with God, bro, I used to think, oh, my God, bro, like, you know, like, oh, I got to let go of the stuff I don't want to let go of, like, I was telling God, like, God, I don't want to block that boy, I know he a thought, but I still don't want to block him, and God was like, listen, like, you know what I'm saying, y'all got to be honest with God, that's what I was doing, I was being honest with him, like, God, 
I'm gonna tell you straight up, I don't wanna stop smoking weed. I don't wanna stop drinking, you know? But God, please just help me, like take this desire out of my heart. And he did. You know what I'm saying? Then the stuff that you thought you probably couldn't never stop doing, you just don't do it no more. So, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of myself. I just gotta stay focused. You know what I'm saying? I can do that. Just gotta stay focused and remember that it's just for now. It's not for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you can do today to make tomorrow better for you. Like, but bro, God see everything. So also be careful with what you do on your end. But it's 2024, baby. We not letting nobody stress us out no more. Like, bounce. You gotta go. So this is done, y'all. Going this high. Y'all see that steam? All right, y'all. So. He be drinking the Gentle Ease um, formula, so, you know, because I'm going to give my baby a bath, a real nice bath, so I want him to have his bottle ready for him. And y'all, my baby turned four months today. He's on this cereal, too. I haven't gave him um, none of this cereal today yet, but. He can drink up some. He's over here for my baby to start eating baby food. But I know I'm going to miss these moments. I be asking myself, like, I wonder if I'm going to have more kids. It's like, if I don't have more kids, I'll be perfectly okay with that. But if I do have another kid, it'll probably be, like, later on in my life. But I'm like, ooh, who's going to go through that newborn stage again? Not me. I'm just playing. But, nah, dead serious, though. So I don't know. I feel like I'm so content now. I don't know. Put this top on there. So once all of this is shooken up well, you want to add you some k syrup. That's just so they won't get constipated. Uh -oh. So your baby won't get constipated. So I just add this regular corn syrup. And I bought some more because we clearly use that rice cereal a lot. All right, now that his bottle is ready for him, I'm just going to warm it up for 30 seconds so it can be warm. So you just going to warm it up for 30 seconds. All right, y'all, so I'm just going to vacuum real quick. All right, so I got some little outfits out. Well, some little onesies for Kobe. I'm trying to see which one I'm going to let him put on. Because when he wake up, I'm going to give him a bath. I think I'm going to put him on this one and leave these for overnight in case he do something. But, y'all, this is the only wash I use on him. I don't really use lotion on him unless it's just the, um, the Aveeno lotion. This is that brand right here. Um, it's the eczema cream one. I sometimes use that on his face, but I only use this. Um, and yeah. So I got a diaper out. Where his onesie? Oh, it's up. I was gonna say, but this is what I was talking about. So this is what I use on him. It works really, really good if your baby get hives, cause my baby be having hives. And I got his rag and towel. Um, he gonna put them socks on. And I just leave stuff like this right here because he gonna eventually use that and y'all look do y'all remember this book when y'all was a kid the hungry caterpillar i read this to him he love it i love this book all right y'all i'm trying not to vacuum while he's asleep but i really want to real quick but i already have all his stuff out so when he do wake up i can get him a bath his bottle is done y'all see your girl yes and now well i was just gonna say i'm gonna clean up the kitchen but i need to get him a bath so I can clean up the kitchen. And once I get done clean up the kitchen, I just want to vacuum over my living room floor. But y'all, he is knocked out. I think I'm going to wake him up. I'm just trying to think of anything else I need to do before I wake him up. I wonder if I should vacuum his floor. They're like, vacuum what? I ain't going to vacuum his floor. His floor clean. Bathroom clean. Everything clean. So, um, yeah, y'all, I honestly think I'm going to go ahead and get him a bath and stuff. So I could just finish cleaning up because I am going to be ready to get in my bed. Don't let nobody, like, steal y'all joy, period. Like, and don't feel bad for, like, the, like, don't feel bad for choosing peace over mess. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you really got to cut people off and you really got to, like, so long with them, like, wish them well. You ain't got to hurt them. You ain't got to hate them. Like, I don't hate 
nobody who inside of the block party. I call them my block party because they all having a block party in the block list, okay? So I don't hate nobody who in my block party. I don't I don't despise them or nothing, but you really got to like, Kevin Gates said one thing. He said when people paint you a picture of who they is the first time, never let them paint you a different picture because what they show you the first time is what it is. So on that note, y'all, I'm just so thankful. God is so good. He's making me into a beautiful godly young woman i've been that girl the whole time he just really like breaking the mold i'm coming out my shell more i'm realizing that my purpose is deeper than what i think it is i got kobe i'm blessed let me show y'all the computer my dad actually blessed me with y'all look at the computer and it's touch screens hp computer everything right here yes y'all but life is good y'all keep god first i'm telling y'all like all the young single moms out here like i'm telling y'all keep god first like i'm telling y'all what i know i've been there like i did my whole pregnancy on my own really so, and God sustained me. He's sustaining me now. Like, I'm telling y'all, God is good. And he is a father to the fatherless for a reason. He says that for a reason. Like, trust in God, y'all, period. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wake Kobe up. Because, yeah, because we get into bed a little early tonight. So, I think I'm going to wake him up. <laughs> He's sleeping so good. Oh, look at that baby. <laughs> look at his little face. Kobe. Kobe. He like, yeah. He's sleeping so good right now, y'all. I'm going to wake him, though. I'm doing all that time. I'm going to wake him. His bath water not even ready. Like, let me do that first. Y'all, that fabulous right? That smells so good, child. I smell all the way in here. But they turned the um, hot water heater up some, and I'm telling you, boy, this water gets so hot, it makes you jump. Like, yee! Like, boy, it be so hot. But let me get this water ready for him. Like I said, y'all, I only use this because he had, like, some hives and stuff going on, baby, and we ain't doing that. So... We have a really nice bubble bath. His bottle is like right here. Oh, it's so warm and nice for him. Yeah, so. Imagine getting woke up and you go directly inside of a warm bath. Ooh. And you go inside of like a warm bath. Like, you can go right back to sleep if anything. But yeah, make sure my baby take a good bath at all times. All right, y'all. So his bath water, I had to put some of the bubbles over there, child. But his bath water is ready. I just gotta move some stuff out of the way because I be needing this one little spot right here for when I get him a bath. So now I'm gonna wake him up and put him in a tub. Yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna wake him up, Kobe. Hey, hey. I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> he up, y'all. So now I just like lay his towel out like this so I can um take all his little clothes off and pick them up. So that's how I do it. How you doing, Kobe? Hey. You ready to take a bath? Y'all, at four months, he loves to touch his toes, y'all. That's all he do. Say, that's all I do. <laughs> That's all I do. That's all I be doing. Hey, look how big my baby getting. He getting so big. See, I'm getting so big. Finna take this bath. Yeah, he be so happy when he wake up. He be so happy. You know, you know, you finna take a bath, Kobe. He like, hey. It is what it is. You know, you be take a bath, Kobe. His skin is doing so much better, y'all. I'm telling y'all that Avino. Fat man. <laughs> That's what else is uh, a spit up bird. I don't like it. 
Hello. See, I'm getting so big. You don't know. He like, ooh, that's me. That's you, Kobe. Let's get in the sun. I love that time with Bat because it be all sunshine. Come on, Kobe. Cheese. Cheese. You gonna say cheese? He like, no. All right, y'all. Let's go in there and go to this kitchen, child. Let's go inside of this kitchen. All right, y'all. So, yes, I absolutely do love using the Aveeno. Kobe has sensitive skin, so I used to use the Johnson's, but that just really make his skin, like, break out, y'all. So, instead, I just like to use that, and Kobe loves his bath time, okay? He just be sitting there like, yes, girl, make sure you get my ears. So, yeah, that's this. All right, y'all. Now, let's go ahead and put him some of this on. I don't really put none on his body, though. Because Kobe sweat a lot, but I do put some on his face, so I'm about to put some of this on his face only. All right, you got him a bottle, so I'm just gonna get some little stuff up. I'm about to get ready to vacuum real quick. As it turned out, I was. All right, y'all. So I'm done cleaning up everywhere. I got my bath and body works candle lit. Kobe got his bottle. He took a bath. Um, I had some Burger King that I think I'm going to eat later on. I don't really want that right now, but I am about to eat me an uh, ice cream, y'all. One of these birthday cake ice creams, and probably just chill, watch a movie. Um, it's six o'clock right now, so that's what we doing, y'all. Just gonna chill, watch a movie, and. I'll hit y'all back in a minute. Y'all, right now, at this moment, this pollen, it got me feeling all types of ways right now. My, my throat, my nose. It's just another reason for why I want to move out the south. Oh, my gosh. But Kobe is not now asleep. I'm going to get us inside of the bed, fix my little food. And I'm going to bed, y'all. I know it's still bright as day outside. Well, it's like 6 going on 7, but I'm tired and I'm over it. My sinus is messing up and I'm just not in the mood. All right, y'all. So, yeah, y'all already see the hair wrapped up. So, I said time. Kobe right here. Hey, Kobe. Hey. Hey. <laughs> So, yes, y'all, I'm finna get ready to eat. I got a burger, a fruit cup, and some fries, baby. I'm not feeling the best right now. Y'all see once the hair get wrapped up. Oh, I've been missing sunset time because time change. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to get ready to turn on some TV. We finna relax, go to sleep, and and that's it, baby. I'm not feeling it right now. My allergies all messed up. So, yeah, we just chilling in the bed, and this just, this was our nighttime routine. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and most importantly, y'all keep God first. Let him direct y'all and lead y'all, and y'all gonna be good. So, bye.